G'day legends, welcome back to Max Power Cardboard Collectibles. Hope you guys are well, happy, and living your best life as always. And uh, yeah, we're back today with something a little bit different. Um, well, maybe not too different. We did just open some of the stuff we're about to open today about a week ago. But uh, look, I was, uh, I've was i been holding on to a bit of stuff and you know, I thought why not? Let's. I was just going to hold on to this stuff and store it for ages and maybe try and sell it five years down the track or something like that. But then I remembered, and then I remembered that just recently for our 300 subscriber special, I did happen to open up a box of Legacy from last year that I'd been holding on to all over, all throughout the summer, uh, with the with the hopes of maybe selling it one day for a bit more. And what did we do? We opened it and we pulled a Dusty Martin Legacy. So look, I was thinking, like I said, I was thinking about like hoarding this for ages or maybe just chucking it up on eBay. But to be honest, I don't think anyone's really buying Supremacy Rookie at the moment anyway. So we are gonna open one box of 2023 supremacy rookie and one box of brownlow metal booklet series we're taking a little bit of a gamble today we're gonna roll the dice hopefully we can hit something nice and big and uh well for one i need a ben cousins brownlow booklet so it would be nice to pull one of those today but if we can get something that uh helps us facilitate a trade or fund that purchase uh that would be pretty good because uh the benny cousins brownlow booklets aren't going cheap i've been seeing a few around the 450 mark which is generally more than what a box is costing at the moment on the second hand market so uh look that's all we're doing today but before we get stuck into that you all know the drill don't forget to get around the socials links to that will be downstairs in the description of this video and uh yeah like like, I think that's, is that it? I think that's it. Let's open some cards. All right, legends. I think we're pretty much ready to go. I think, I think we've got everything we need. Um, yeah, let's open some of this stuff. I've got to be honest. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm a little bit nervous. Let's, what we'll do, we'll start with the supremacy. We'll, uh, we'll open this up and then we'll finish off with a guaranteed booklet. Why not? Um, all right. Uh, no time like the present, I suppose. Let's get stuck into it. All right. It's been a long time since I've opened uh, a bit of Supremacy Rookie. I don't know if I'm... We did one on the channel last year, didn't we? Surely. Maybe we didn't. Maybe we didn't at all. We're just going to... Uh, that is definitely sealed. It's going to crack that. All right. I'm sure we opened some of this on the channel last year. Oh, God. If I can, if I can even get it open. Oh, old boxes. Maybe that's what it is. All right. All right, all right, all right. So, empty lid. All right, that can just go up there. Can it go up there? No, that can just go down there. All righty, here we go. Oh, God, I can't even remember how this works. Uh, all right, let's 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 go from the top here. All right, first card. First card, what have we got? Been a while since I've opened some of this. All right, at least we're the right way up. Whose hair does that look like? I actually think I know who that hair is already. I think like that is a West Coast card, and I think it's a Kobe Bergil. It is not. Jacob Ryan from the Pies. Not too bad there. That's not a bad one to get. Always nice to pull a bit of Collingwood. Now, I need to make sure whether... Ah, it doesn't matter. Who cares whether we get the 25 now or at the end. All right, second card... Oh, it looks like we got it right. This is another to 75. What we got there? Bailey McDonald from the Hawks there. 27 of 75. Very nice. Looks like we got the sides of the boxes right. I did want to finish on the number to 25. <laughs> All righty. Third one here. What have we got? Let's play some hair. Who's... Oh, ooh, we might have a good one here. I reckon, is that a Harry Sheasel? It is. Very nice. Harry Sheasel, number to 75, Supremacy Rookie. Uh, yeah, very nice. 68 of 75, so nothing crazy on the numbering, but uh, always nice to pull a bit of Sheaz action. All right, here we go. This is the big dog. This is the big dog. This is our number to 25. Um, we'll, do, we'll do the same, same deal. What have we got here? Yeah, this is definitely the uh, the the green. Whose hair's that? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It is Hugh Davies, number nine of twenty five for the Frio Dockers. Very nice there. I know a friend of the channel who will be very happy to have a look at that. Uh, so yeah, nice there, number nine. Not sure what his jumper number is. I'm sure it's not number nine because that is uh, Luke Jackson's number. So no jumper number there, but a nice low. 
I suppose most things are pretty low when their only numbers are 25. So not bad. I think we did pretty good there. We did pretty good. We uh, got a nice Collingwood hit there and Jacob Ryan, 21 out of 75. We got the nice Harry Sheasel, probably the pick of the bunch. Uh, and then with our number to 25, we got a nice low there for Frio Hugh Davies. Uh, yeah, I know, I know a certain person who's a very good friend of mine who's probably going to end up with that in his collection. All right, all right. Now we're on to a guaranteed booklet. Brownlow medalist. It's always been nice having my uh, the first booklets in my set. If you uh, if you saw the video that we did for this, the double opening, we got a uh, Peter Bedford and we got a mighty, mighty Chris Judd. Very nice one there. I was pretty stoked to hit that. That's uh, definitely a PC card. Don't know what I'm going to do with the other one, um, to be honest. Uh, with, the, with the Peter Bedford, I'm still holding it. I haven't listed it on eBay yet. Feels like there's a lot out there. Jesus Christ, am I... I've lost my ability to open boxes. All right, let's go. Oh, I had it. There we go. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, hello. Oh, wow. I haven't got one of these yet. There we go, guys. We've hit the predictor. Uh, 24, 5, and 6 Brownlow series predictor. So what happens with these is we redeem them. It gets uh, We get a booklet back. That booklet is then the redemption card for if someone wins the Brownlow. Between 24 and 26. Now we're hoping for a Bont, a Dacos, a Butters. Um, who else? Who else? Can't remember off the top of my head. Let's see. I, I guarantee we're probably going to get the Gold Coast one because that just seems to tell you what happens here. It is... Oh, it's a Bont! Yes! Yes! Oh, that's so good. Marcus Bontempelli, Brownlow Predictor, a low 208 of 35. Oh, this is this is the second one that we wanted. We wanted the day cost, but the Bont is just as good. Oh man. Yes. Mate, I tell you, I've been saying it all year. 2024 is our year. We're gonna put Bont. We're gonna, can we just lean him up there? Is that gonna Oh it is. It was meant to be. All right. <laughs> All right. So no matter what happens, this has been a bit of a win today. But this is the main one. This is the big dog. This is what we're after. Are we going to get a Ben Cousins Brownlow booklet just to just to make it peak 2024 luck on the channel? We've been lucky. Unfortunately, it's not because I've just seen the colors. It's uh, St. Kilda or Sydney. What do we got? Jared Healy. Oh, that's pretty cool. Jared Healy, 1988 Brownlow medalist. Not the nicest sig going around. Tell you what, I feel his pain. His hair's a lot thicker there than it is uh, on, on the couch these days, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, these look, man, these just look so good still. Got that, that the, the replica Brownlow just looks amazing. It looks so good set into the cards like that. Nice sig there. Jared Healy, Brownlow book. Let's check if we got a good number. What do we got there? Number 28. Number 28. Now, I have no idea what Jared Healy's uh, jumper number was back in the day. Can we see it on the thing? No, we cannot. Uh, so, yeah, not sure. Not sure. Uh, maybe we should check that. Let's just check that right now. We are, uh, you know, this is this is great production stuff right here, by the way. Uh, what are we? Jared Healy jumper number um oh come on come on how is this not why does it not tell me anywhere what his jersey number was uh let's see if we go jersey number 39 39 39 39 so we didn't get it we didn't get the jumper number sorry so we've done pretty well for ourselves today guys that's unreal we've obviously got the uh the brownlow booklet predictor wild thing for marcus bontempelli a nice low 08 that is such a good pull i'm stoked about that one uh and yeah like i said we went through the supremacy stuff before and there's our brownlow booklet for jared healy that one's nice there that's almost one of the ones i kind of want to keep just because uh you know he's, he's you know probably a legend legacy player a lot of people know of but uh look we'll see what happens with that guys pretty short video today thanks so much for tuning in uh look hope you guys are having a great rip uh, of the stuff you're opening having some good luck with it pulling some absolute bangers and uh yeah look we'll be back with our regular show of tits video next week um look hopefully we're you know obviously like brownlow series has just come out so we're probably a little while away from a series two announcement um whether it's series two and then we get supremacy later in the year i think that's how it's gonna pan out to be honest uh guys i'm gonna pose a question to you what do you think is going to be the big 
quad, triple, whatever signature for supremacy in the vein of the uh, the coach's quad sig and the uh, thousand goal kicker's quad sig. I've got a pretty good... I've got an idea of what I think it might be, given that... Um, the hint is we're about to see someone hit the milestone this weekend. I think it's going to be a 400 gamers signature. Um, I think that'd be pretty cool. Obviously, uh, Bartlett, Dustin Fletcher, Boomer Harvey, uh, Silk Burgoyne, and now Scott Pendlebury. So given that Scott Pendlebury is only hitting the uh, the milestone this week, I'd say it's probably going to be the other four. If that's what they're going to do, we're going to find out. But, uh, but look, anyways, guys, I'm going to leave you with that little nugget. And uh, yeah, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks again.